Somebody commented yesterday on my yesterday's video that they would probably chop the tree down, not saw it down. Well, we don't really know what materials they had to work with back then because everything was destroyed in the, uh, the flood. There's a lot of things that uh, we had, have lost as far as knowledge of uh, what the world was like before the flood. What technology they had and all that stuff. I mean, we... Well, anyway, I'll come back and talk about it a little bit more. Time to play with some clay. What I'm doing is I'm making the end of this log and I'm going to try to make it look like it's been chopped down or chopped. It fell over and the uh, one end of this, uh, or yeah, one end of this log has been turned into either firewood or building material. Anyway, I put uh, aluminum foil up against the end of the log and uh, so I could save a little bit on the clay. Clay's expensive, aluminum foil isn't. So anyway, I'm going to, when this clay stiffens up, and even though it's soft, it does have its area, I mean, when it gets cooled off a little bit, it, uh, it does stiffen. All right, that's done. Anyway, what I was going to say is uh, we really don't know what technology we lost, uh, if we lost any. And uh, quite honestly, uh, a lot of the stuff that we find over in Egypt that can't be explained like uh, rock that has been Well, it's been cut so perfectly and smoothly. And we can't explain how they did that with nothing but copper tools. And, uh, like I said, we just don't know. It could have been a pre-flood item that uh, everybody assumes is Egyptian. I mean, even the pyramids are unexplained. And uh, we don't know. what I've always said that what we don't know about Earth and its history and the people and its history you could probably put on a tip of a pin what we do know in the middle of a football field of what we don't know. And uh, I think that holds true with a lot of stuff. There we go. Okay, now i got to figure out how I'm going to make the chopped look. And I gotta find the right tool. There it is. Now I went online and uh, on YouTube and put in a search for chopping a tree down with an axe so I could see what effect the uh, axe has on a uh, tree. And what it looks like once it's been chopped down. And I've got it on my iPad. I just had to turn my iPad on. 
I'll be back in a second. All right, what it looks like. Oh, <laughs> I guess it helped to put the camera on the subject. Anyway, what it looks like is, uh, and I'll put a picture up here of uh, what the wood looks like after it's been chopped. Uh, anyway, it looks like there's just little scallops of chopped wood and uh, I don't know if I'm doing good here I've never done a chopped tree before but I don't think it hurts to try. What I've got is a serrated tool. And uh, I got this years ago from Sculpture House in New York, but they no longer are in existence. And uh, you can get these at uh, Sculpture Depot in uh, Loveland, Colorado. I'll take uh, down the uh, texture just a little bit. Looks like I gotta do some more bark. But uh, anyway, maybe I'll try this tool and see what happens. I think you get a, get the idea of what I'm doing here. All right, I need to carry over the bark a little bit more. I think it looks pretty, pretty real.
Yeah, it looks pretty good. I gotta take care of this uh, bottom part of the uh, his outfit. It doesn't quite match what it should look like. And so I'm just uh, adding just a little bit of material to it. I think this piece is pretty much done. I was going to do several tools, but I, I don't see any reason to do that. Because the uh, single axe is all I really need. It says everything right there. If I add any more, it gets to be too much of a... Complication and cost. If I had unlimited funds, I'd do a lot more. But I don't have unlimited funds. And so... I'm relegated to uh, doing as little as possible and yet still putting the story across. As you can see, I painted his carving knife. <clears throat> it's time to work on uh, the... Uh, texturing and the ground and getting that uh, to where I like it. Clay is done, and I'll be taking it to the uh, foundry tomorrow to get a bid. I'm happy with it. Not bad for a couple weeks work. All right, everybody, have you a great weekend? I'll see you next, well, next week, but I'll probably have a video tomorrow night of, uh, my trip to uh, the foundry. I don't know what I'm going to be working on next. Uh, I'm running out of room to uh, put these clays. In fact, i got to figure out where I'm going to put him. And uh, I may have to slow down sculpting because I'm sculpting faster than I'm reproducing them. <laughs> all right. Anyway, we'll figure it all out. Good night, everybody. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.